Hey guys, it's your boy Tristan, and welcome back to another Game Maker 3D tutorial. In this one, we're actually going to be going 3D, so it's going to be a pretty good one. Um, so first of all, we're going to have to set up some 3D variables that Game Maker doesn't supply to us. So one of these is going to be Z, and we're going to initialize that to be zero. And the next one is just going to be height, and we'll we'll make that one 32. And there's there's one other one as well. And we're going to call it pitch and we're going to let it be zero. Now pitch is going to be the angle, like the up and down angle that we're going to be looking. Um, when we use the mouse to look up and down, the pitch is the thing that will determine the angle at which we view things. Now if we just hop on over to the step event here, what we can do is we can add something underneath mouse controls here. This is going to be to do with pitch. So as you can see, I've got pitch incrementing itself by sensitivity, there's that variable again, times, and this time instead of uh, get mouse x and width like we had for the direction, this time we're using get y and get height. And it's the exact same principle behind this, this direction variable. We're just doing how, how far up and down we're looking rather than how far left and right we're looking. Um, but there's a problem. With, with direction, we can just keep moving the mouse to the left indefinitely and he'll spin around in circles. He can go a full 360 degrees and then go a full 360 degrees again and it won't matter. But with pitch, we don't really want that. So what we're going to have to end up doing is limiting the pitch. So we're going to use the clamp function again. So if you remember this one, we had it down here. It clamps the variable that's being assigned in between these two functions here. So in our case, we're limiting it between minus 80 degrees and 80 degrees. So now that we're done in the player step event, we're actually going to create a new object. So we're gonna call this one object camera. And in the step event, we're just gonna drag in a code action and we're gonna type in D3D start. Now we're gonna hop on over to the draw event in the camera, in the camera object and this one's a little bit involved, but we'll, we'll see how we go. So we're going to create some variables. All right, so I've got var CX, and this stands for camera X. So this is the camera's X position, and at the moment we're setting it to object player X because we're doing a first person 3D perspective. In a third person, the camera's coordinates might not necessarily be equal to the player's coordinates, but in our case it is. So I'm trying to keep things general here, which is why I'm doing this, but in general, for a 3D game, your camera's coordinates are going to be the same as your object's coordinates. So here we have CY's player Y, and then CZ equals object player dot Z plus the object player's height. And the reason I've done this is because the way that I've set up the Z axis is so that it increases, the values increase as you go up. So you can imagine if I'm standing on the ground, the positive Z axis will be pointing up. So that's why we have to do this, because we want the camera's Z coordinates to be at the player's head or at the top of the player's height. So that's the reason. Um, now what we've got here is camera direction, and that's just going to be player direction and then camera pitch is player pitch. One thing we have to do now is we have to set the camera's depth to an extremely large number. So I'm just going to type in, I don't know, like eight nines. So basically that's to remind you that the camera's depth has to be higher than every other object's depth in your game. And the reason for this is because this is going to be drawing all the 3D stuff. And 3D drawing requires the highest depth in the game. So we're going to go back into the, the draw event here. And we're going to type in something. Alright, D3D set projection. And as you can see, here are all the parameters that we need. So we need x from, y from, and z from. x from, y from, and z from are the coordinates that you want to draw, that you want your projection to be coming from. So in this case, we just want it to draw it from the camera's coordinates because the projection will be coming from the camera. And then with x2, y2, and z2 here in the in the little tooltip, those are the coordinates that you want to draw your projection to. We want that to be whatever the player is currently facing. So depending on his direction and his pitch, we want to draw to that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type it in, and I'll explain it after. 
Okay, so now that, now that I've typed these parameters, I'm going to go ahead and explain them. So, so for our x2, this is what we have. So we have cx, which is the player's x position, plus this length to x function again. So this length to x function, the way that I have it, is the x component of the vector in the direction of the player with length 1. So the x value that we're going to be looking to is our original x value that we're already at plus a little bit in the direction that we're facing and then the same with y so we've got our y coordinate and then a little bit in the direction that we're facing and with z we've got our z coordinate this is z2 we've got our z coordinate and then we're adding on a little bit to do with the pitch so we're adding the z component of the vector that has c pitch direction and one length Notice that this is a Y. That's because there is no such thing in Game Maker as a length to Z function, but we can still use the Y function because of the way that the math works. I'll have the equation on the screen if you're interested, but if you're not, then don't worry about it. You can use length to Y and it will work. Now, all we have to do now is specify X up, Y up, and Z up. And that is where we get to specify what variable the projection sees as the up variable. So in this case, we want it to be Z and we want it to be positive Z. So we're gonna type in zero and zero for X and Y. And then for Z up, we wanna type positive one. And that's it. So we're gonna save that. And we're gonna, we're finished with the object camera uh, for now. So next, we're gonna make a couple changes to our solid object. So in the create event, we're just gonna uh, conform to everything else. So we're gonna have z equals zero and um, height equals 32. Now we're going to do something here. So we're gonna say text equals, so we're gonna say text equals background get texture text block. And what that will do is it'll take a background and I already have one. This, this background is 32 by 32 and it's just it's just something that I got from the internet, but it's 32 by 32 and it's called text block and it's a background. So we can get the background, GameMaker will get it and it'll convert it to a texture. And then we've saved that texture as text. So what we can do now is we can go to the draw event, add in a code action, and we can tell GameMaker how this is going to look in a D3D projection. So we're gonna say D3D draw, and we're gonna draw a block. And this is where we get to put in all the parameters that we wanna draw for this block. So we have an X1, Y1, and Z1, and then we have X2, Y2, Z2. So this is a rectangle that we're drawing, and we need, we need a, a we need the coordinates of the first corner, and then we need the coordinates of the opposite corner. So the coordinates of the first corner is simply just x, y, and z. And the coordinates of the second corner, I'm going to say is x plus sprite width, y plus sprite height, and z plus height. Uh, it can get a little bit confusing because I've decided to call it height, um, but you shouldn't confuse this height, which is how far off the Z plane it is, with this height, uh, which is used for like describing Y things. Now we get to put in a text ID, which you can see here. We're going to type in text, which is the variable that we made before. And then for hrepeat and vrepeat, we'll just do one and one for now. And that should be it. So if we go ahead and put our camera object into the room, and run the game, we should get a nice D3D projection into 3D. And I've got an error, it's saying C pitch is not set before reading it. So object camera C pitch, let's see, variable. Okay, so I've put underscores. Uh, so I'm gonna take those underscores out and then let's try to run it now. And now we have a D3D projection of our world. So we have the blocks, and everything still works, all the game code that we wrote in 2D still works, but now uh, the game is drawing it as if it were a 3D game. Uh, one thing to note though is that our texture didn't work, and the reason for that is we forgot 
in the create event of our parent solid object, we forgot to go like this. Draw set color C white. Now if we run this, it will work. And not too sure why that is, but um, anyway, so here is our little world that we came up with and all our collisions and movement code still works, but it's now in 3D. 